Today I'm going to review the SpaceX Pantomime Company. We're going to have a little look at Elon, apparently overcome with emotion. Look at some SpaceX footage, supposedly great achievements made over the last couple of days. And then I'm going to pose the question. Well, we love a good question on this channel, but first of all, I think you need to tell us what exactly this video is about. The ISS heliocentric space is nonsense. Ah, right. Not quite what I was expecting. But the question must be, why does everybody think I'm a complete twat? Go nuts on my nuts. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Playing a Blinder with me, the Creaky Blinder. Now, I'm surprised it took this long, if I'm being honest, for somebody like level earth observer to make a video claiming that the incredible achievement that elon musk and spacex have just achieved is fake but then again i suppose every village needs an idiot and in this case youtube is the village and level earth observer is the idiot i mean this guy's brain is so small that if a hungry cannibal cracked open his skull for a snack they'd probably move on to the next person so let's have a look and see what he's got to say for himself. Tidy! And then I'm going to pose the question. Does this SpaceX stuff pass the smell test? Or is it the usual tosh we get on the heliocentric pantomime circuit known as space? Let's have a look. First up, let's just take a look at these heliocentric space pantomime costumes. Well, I'm not exactly sure what you mean by heliocentric spacesuits, but I'm going to let that one slide. But like everything Elon Musk does, he wants it to be a first, wherever possible, and completely individual. And these spacesuits were no exception. Now, they took three to four years to develop, and a spacesuit is essentially a miniature spacecraft for the astronauts to wear to keep them comfortable while they're in a very small area inside uh, inside the, the capsule and to keep them alive essentially so I'm not really sure where you're going with the heliocentric spacesuits because they're person shaped not globe shaped and pose the question here are these better than the traditional pantomime costumes well better is a relative term isn't it but if you mean are they more effective or just as effective then yes obviously uh, they look a lot more comfortable, but again, that's only my opinion. So if that makes them better, then yes, they are better. I'm not impressed. Oh, well, if a spineless idiot that hides behind still images and a voiceover on YouTube isn't impressed, I'm afraid it's back to the drawing board, Mr. Musk. I think for credibility, the traditional might have been better, because these just ain't cutting it, I'm afraid. These are shocking. And the guys in the background with the masks on, I'm guessing that's not for COVID. I'm guessing that's because of the overwhelming smell of bullshit. I don't think they're for COVID either. I think that they were aware of your video and they're wearing them because they are absolutely terrified that your level of stupid is contagious. Of course, they're for COVID, you complete moron. It is oozing from the pantomime stage that is SpaceX. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, people like Level Earth Observer here are too stupid to even realise how stupid they actually are. And it basically comes from his own inability to recognise his lack of ability. Or, as we all know it, Dunning-Kruger. And the problem that Level Earth Observer is eventually going to run into is that somebody will outwit him. And by somebody, I mean like a three-year-old child. Because when you sound as confident and as condescending as this guy does, you better make damn sure that everything you say is 100% right. Okay, first up, the main dame for SpaceX, Elon. Supposedly here, he's overcome with emotion. Supposedly. Based on what he's achieved over the last couple of days. This was filmed just before the guy supposedly docked with the ISS, okay? Well, let's be factual at least. Elon didn't dock with the ISS, did he? It was the craft that Elon developed and funded with the SpaceX team that docked with the ISS. So if you're going to make ridiculous claims, at least try and hover somewhere near the facts, or your version of them at least. Just watch, Elon, how empty and how unconvincing he is. 
Well, yeah, and you'd be the right guy to assess that, wouldn't you? Because your head is completely empty, and so are your arguments. Oh, I'd like to just, uh, uh, yeah, uh, acknowledge the incredible work of the people at SpaceX and, and NASA and everyone in, in uh, creating this technology and... Creating what technology, Elon? The technology that's just allowed two astronauts to be launched into low Earth orbit and dock with the ISS? You're muttering and you're stuttering. There's no conviction, there's no emotion, just awkwardness. And to be fair, that is a very accurate assessment of how Elon Musk behaves on camera. Yes, he is very awkward. He does mumble and stutter. But that's because not everybody is comfortable being on camera. Surely you'd be able to relate to that level Earth observer? You're claiming that it's thanking people for inventing this great technology. All you've supposedly done is go to low Earth orbit. Well, there's not really any supposedly about it, is there? That's exactly what was achieved. They went into lower Earth orbit and docked with the ISS. And the way you say all you did was go into lower Earth orbit. When was the last time you did that? But in 1969, man supposedly, America, supposedly was doing wheel spins on the moon and playing crazy golf. So what technology have you invented? The technology that just sent two astronauts into orbit. I really don't like repeating myself, but let me give you an example. The Apple iPhone. Did Steve Jobs invent mobile phones? No, he did not. But he did invent the iPhone, along with the team, obviously. And what Steve Jobs did was took something that was already well established and being used by millions of people and made it better. And he revolutionized the mobile phone market which is exactly what Elon Musk is attempting to do with his own version of a spacecraft. Sorry mate, the days of space panto are over. You know it as well. There's no conviction in what you're saying, just emptiness. This word emptiness keeps coming up from Level Earth Observer, so I can only assume that emptiness is what he feels daily. Because when a grown man who supposedly is an intelligent person makes this type of video claiming that this mission was fake, claiming that the earth is flat, then his life has to be empty, surely. I, I agree, it cannot be easy defending utter fucking nonsense, all right? So I get it, it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, I bet you get it because you make videos claiming that the earth is flat. But I think I could probably do a better job than you. There's nothing. Emptiness, waffle, gibberish. Well, I invite you to step up to the plate then, Level Earth Observer. Show your face on camera. Stop being a spineless wimp and hiding behind still images and a voiceover. If you're so sure that everything you were saying is true, then why do you choose to hide yourself? Or is it because you're terrified that everybody that knows you will laugh at you and mock you mercilessly when they find out that it's you. But not looking up at the sky and fantasizing about rockets and CGI. C-G-I. Mine's more about exploring this place, fella. By sea, by land, by air. And that's absolutely fine and it's all well and good. But space exploration is the natural progression of mankind. We don't know what's out there. We want to know. Going south for as far as you can go, going north for as far as you can go, mapping it, having a look at back. That would be real exploration. And that gets done all the time. Space exploration is real exploration. Just because you choose to not believe it, it doesn't make it so. Not taking someone's word for it, go and have a look for myself. Well, that's a really stupid argument, isn't it? It's completely impractical. I've never been to Australia, but I know it's there. But of course, you being a flat earther probably think it's not. But you know exactly what I mean. Not everything that gets explored can be explored by everyone. And the fact that not everyone has been there and seen it for themselves, that doesn't mean that it's not there. I mean, I'm really quite overcome uh, with emotion on uh, this day. So it's, it's kind of hard. Really? That's funny, because I'm not detecting it whatsoever. What I'm detecting is awkwardness, and quite a bad liar, fella. 
There's no conviction here. It would seem the realisation of what you've got yourself into is starting to hit home. Elon Musk awkward on camera? Well, who would have thought it? Yeah, he is awkward on camera and he openly admits that himself. But being awkward on camera doesn't necessarily make you a liar. How about you try it? Or is it because it's harder to lie on camera that you choose not to? <laughs> you're struggling with the lie, it would seem, and your materialistic wealth and trinkets aren't cutting it anymore, are they, Elon? They're probably not, in fairness, because if I only had $38.7 billion sitting in my bank account, I, I don't know what I would do. Talk, frankly. Um... It's been 18 years working towards this goal, so it's, it's hard to believe that it's happened. Um, when we haven't quite yet docked it. You're right, it is hard to believe it's happened. The only thing that's happened is a very poor production known as pantomime. Now, I'm a fan of self-deprecating humour myself. If you make fun of yourself, I mean, what's left for anyone else to say? But come on, Level Earth Observer, don't put yourself down. Your videos aren't that terrible. Oh, silly me again. Yeah, they are that terrible, aren't they? Because you don't show your face on camera and you make videos claiming the earth is flat and space is fake. You're really struggling to get the emotion going here. I'm just going to bring you back. A craft made by humans for humans. Hmm. So I've got a question here. Who made the previous craft then? But he didn't say it was the first craft made by humans for humans did he he just stated a fact his craft was made by humans for humans to use again i don't follow your lo <laughs> logic <laughs> if this one's made by humans who made the previous craft elon reptilians bigfoot who well i can tell you who certainly didn't build the previous craft you or any other flat earth moron. I think humanity should be excited about and proud of occurring on this day. Humanity needs to look after itself and not give a flying fuck the idiots that appear on our TV screen. Humanity, if you care about that, you should give every single penny of your money away to humanity. Ah, oh, so you're one of those people then. The people that believe that if somebody's wealthy, they don't deserve it and that they should distribute their wealth equally amongst all of mankind. Well, sadly, no, it doesn't work like that. And more to the point, why should he? Because humanity, when push comes to shove, doesn't give a flying fuck about your rockets or your pantomime company because it doesn't put food on the table, mate. Well, I hate to disagree with you again. No, no, I don't hate to disagree with you. I love disagreeing with you. But I'm sure that any one of the 10 million people that watched the launch live would disagree with you. And of course it puts food on the table, you moron. Because none of these people do it for free. They all get paid. So just because you're appearing on TV doesn't mean anyone gives a fuck. Because clearly you're struggling with a lie. The crap you've come out with, the lack of conviction, the lack of real emotion, just tells us the lie is unravelling. You know it. You know it. And who better than a flat earther to assess whether or not somebody is lying? Because they are the people who lie to themselves every day about the shape of the earth. If it is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this, then click the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye. Alright, alright, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blinder.